Hey guys, this is Enhander from FearPaintball.net, and today, as you can see before me, I have the new BT TM15, and I'm going to show you very, very basic um, maintenance on this marker. It's it's rather easy. Um, BT redesigned the TM15 so that it now has a bolt out back function, and uh, really easy to uh, take care of on the field here. So I'm going to go over really quick some of the awesome features of this gun. Um, of course, let me zoom in just a little bit here. We have the new selector switch that goes down and set it up and you can hear a very hard click. It's not like the TM7 where it was just you know really flimsy. This is a nice smooth hard click here. So it's not you know you're not gonna accidentally it takes quite a bit of force to get it to go down um, to the next function. Of course, semi-automatic, or safety, semi-automatic. This one it function to is three shot burst and three shot full auto. Um, ease of maintenance, or ease of turn on, just like TM7, you hold it in, light turns red. Of course we have the blinks, letting you know what mode you're in. Ta -da, we know when we put the eyes are on. Put my finger down there if I can. I can't, but go back to safety, it goes red. Now if you want to turn the marker on without the eyes on, you simply hold in the trigger. The light will turn red. You switch it down to whatever mode you want to test. And you can hear semi-automatic, safety three-shot burst, and safety full auto. Okay, turn it off here. Of course you have your standard mini detents right here. And another awesome feature of this marker, let me zoom out just a little bit, is the new battery compartment. And all you have to do is remove the magazine and right there's the battery. And you simply put the magazine back in and the battery is ready to go. And they also got the opportunity to when you split the magazine, let me get it here for you. When you split the magazine there is now a compartment, a secondary compartment here for another battery. So if in the event that you do go down on the field, your battery dies, you have another battery ready to go in your magazine. And of course the new TM15 barrel, it's a clocker thread, 14 inch. And in the inside of the shroud, you see these little grooves in the barrel here, all the porting. Inside the shroud, there's little air compartments, which may actually make the gun quite much, much, much quieter than a normal marker. I was actually very impressed. Um, like I said, 14 inch cocker threaded barrel, 690 bore. And we'll be doing a sound decibel test um, to show how much quieter this gun really is compared to your traditional marker. Now, one upgrade, they did put a clamping neck on it right here. The clamping handle is metal. However, the fee neck itself is still plastic. And you just remove it by simply sliding forward and taking it off. Just like that, just like the TM7. A lot of similarities with the TM7, so if you're, uh, you're familiar with that, then this gun is almost identical. You have your flip up rear and front sights. Um, they're decent, they're not very accurate, I don't like them very well, they're just there for show in my opinion. Um, of course the velocity adjuster is right, I don't know if you can see it right there. You simply, it'll come like that. You guys probably can't even see that. There we go. It'll come with this little panel slot, slid like that. You just simply slide it up, stick your Allen wrench in, turn left and right. I'm not a particular fan of this velocity adjustment either, but beggars can't be choosers. So, let's go ahead and do the basic maintenance here. Um, all you're going to have to do is zoom in. Get your 
you a better angle here. Okay, is this panel right here. All you're going to have to do is simply remove those two screws. Now I have my Allen tool here, multi Allen tool, but of course you'll be provided with the proper tools when you buy this marker. Simply unscrew this. Don't have to pardon me, this is a rather large gun to uh, don't want a maintenance video on the shrouds really really long but it has to be to house a 14 inch barrel so take those two screws out and then either way you can grab the stock pry it up a little bit and this panel comes right out like so you have your little um, panel that goes up and down to the uh, velocity screw and then of course you can remove the stock which is 98 custom thread stock as you can see right there panel right here that holds the stock in place you can take that out now what you're going to need to do is get I'm simply getting this other allen wrench because it's longer there is a screw right there that needs to be removed so you're just going to take your allen wrench and okay, what you're going to have to do is when you remove that screw, the bolt's going to come back just a little bit. Just going to grab it and turn it just slightly, and voila, bolt out back. There's part of the rear bolt, and you're probably going to have to stick your finger in and pull out the bolt itself. Now, the spring remains in the gun here. Zoom out. spring remains in the gun, um, no need to take it out. Pretty much the same as a Mini or a TM7. You know, you have your, your main O-ring here, two O-rings in the back, and then your rear bolt set up, you have three O-rings on top, one, two, and three, one here, and two here. And that's all you really have to mess with on this, um, keep them lubricated frequently. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not a fan of BT's oil, or not oil, um, lubricant that they use. I know with the, the, uh, TM7 when it was first released, there was a lot of issues with that, but I haven't had a problem with it yet, so, again, everything else in the inside is pretty much identical to the TM7. Um, you have your your airline that comes down through here, your ASA board is centered about right here. Like I said, really that's that's all there is to it, guys. Um, take your bolt out back. It's all you really have to do to uh, get your maintenance in here. So again, when you want to put it back in, simply after you lubricate it, stick it in the back here. Now. Like all of the other ones, there's a notch right here that has to, when you pull in, you have to push up like that. So when you actually close the bolt, there's a little silver, uh, there's a little silver prong that it locks into. Well, it doesn't lock into, but it goes into. And then when you put your screw in there, it uh, it holds it in. So I'm gonna go and put the screw back in. I'll be right and put your your um, velocity panel back in as such and your stock just like an onion customs it's right in there now this panel is a little bit weird because you have to put it in at an angle it can't just sit on there so you have to slide it in like that and then take this piece and what I normally have to do is extend the stock one click and jimmy this piece in here. That's about it guys. BT TM15. All the features of the TM7 in a better magnesium shell. Um, quieter barrel. Awesome 
just awesome all around easy battery installation so go and pick one of these up definitely recommend it um, good all around gun a lot of options to uh, to expand you have your wrist rails and all that so definitely a good pick if you're looking for an awesome scenario gun pick this up